So I flew home from Washington DC last Thursday, what was that, five days ago, something like that, four or five days ago, and uh, my last trip of the year. And of course, once again, I successfully uh, passed to qualify for the highest level uh, on American Airlines uh, Frequent Prisoner Program, so I've got that going for me this year. But be that as it may, I'm home for right now, I'm home now for about a month before I hit the road again uh, in January and you know as we get towards the end of the year we all start thinking in terms of reflections and uh, uh, and a lot of people start thinking in terms of well let's analyze the year and let's think, think about what we're gonna do about for, for next year you know we get into the personal resolutions we get into business uh, uh, planning uh, for those of us that are on the calendar year uh, and and that type of stuff and it occurred to me that, that I, I started thinking okay so if I if I went to look at at my year and I did kind of a self-assessment what would be the questions that I would ask myself for this year and I came up with uh, seven different questions they're a little bit eclectic I should say they're not they're not the, t the typical standard um, uh, personal self-assessment uh, or personal evaluation type of type of stuff and this 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 is going to be about personal uh, self-assessment personal self-assessment that's that makes perfect sense right and uh, and then I think next week what I'll do is I'll talk about business assessment for the year but anyway I came up with seven questions and I I uh, uh, I have to be perfectly perfectly honest. Um, I answered the questions for myself, and not completely satisfied with all of my answers. So it gives it tells me something about uh, how I want to look at at next year and get ready for next year. So anyway, so let me share with you what I consider to be seven really great questions to ask ourselves uh, as far as a personal, professional self assessment for 2017. Question number one. How many business books did you read this year? Now, this is important. For those of us that are in business, uh, uh, you know, you just can't stop reading books. Books are so important to us. And regardless of whether we think the internet uh, and we're getting information from all, all over the place, and some people will say, oh, well, books are dead. No, books are not dead. Books are a fabulous resource of information that will that can you know by reading a book uh it makes you think it makes you pay attention to how an author or authors uh are looking at uh business or looking at personal growth or anything like that now you notice i said business book i didn't say just some kind of fiction book or anything like that how many business books did you read this year now i only read 19 books this year for me that's not very good Okay, typically I would read closer to 40 books a year, uh, but somehow I got away from it, I got busy, and I gave myself permission to, to not read. I have to fix that next year. Now, question 1A, question number one is how many business books did you read this year? Question 1A is what, is the, what was the best business book that you did read this year? And I would say that without question the best book I read uh, this year was this one, Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. Kahneman. Uh, and this is, this is fantastic. This is absolutely a fantastic uh, um, uh, book uh, about, think about how we think and how heuristics step into our world. And I've been a very big uh, student of heuristics for a number of years now. Uh, I think it's really, really important for those of us in business especially uh, to learn more about this because it helps us to understand how people think and and that we don't think like our customers, we don't think like our prospects, uh, but it helps us to, to uh, understand how people think. So I think that was, that was a big one. Question number two, uh, who was your best new connection? this year uh, uh you know and this and you know in other words who did you meet this year that you did not know who had the most impact on you now it, it doesn't mean that they had an impact on you that they helped you grow your business they helped you uh um you know make more money or anything like that i mean it, it can mean that but it doesn't necessarily have to uh, uh 
the, the person that I met this year, uh, and I'm not going to get into that because this is this is a personal question, right? Um, but this, that person had a much bigger impact on me personally than they did on me professionally, and that's okay because uh, anytime we are impacted personally, positive, posit, personally, positively, um, that that can't help but help us in a in a professional world. So, so who did you meet this year? And um, you know, and if I didn't meet somebody that that did that, then I would then again I would also be thinking, uh, gosh, I have to make I have to uh, make better efforts next year to go make sure I get out and meet somebody who can impact uh, my world. Uh, number three uh, question: What did you do this year that took you out of your personal comfort zone? Or uh, and and you know, I mean, did you learn a new skill? Did you uh, uh, have a new experience? Uh, you know, did you learn something, not just necessarily a skill, but did you learn something else? Uh, uh, did you have some type of a learning experience uh, that you you never had before? You know, in other words, it's sort of like, you know, when was the last time you did something for the first time? Uh, um, uh, a lot of us just get stuck in our comfort zones. We get stuck in that little narrow window of our, of our world and uh, and it's all well and good to get better at what you are already doing, but in order to stretch our comfort zones, we have to do new things. We have to do we have to do things that take us out of our comfort zone. Uh, for example, uh, what took me out of way out of my comfort zone this year was uh, my wife and I took a two week road trip uh, down the coast. I mean, down from Seattle down to San Diego. To visit our daughter and and back up again we used to take road trips when i was a little kid okay but that was mom and dad doing the driving and things like that so this year this this was a this was completely out of my comfort zone because uh, uh, Kay and i had never done that before so that was a real experience a real eye-opener for me about about getting back on the road again and and just you know seeing seeing stuff seeing uh, uh the u.s from the front from the windshield uh, of the car so that was that was a pretty big deal for us um question number four and this is a rating question on a scale of one to seven how would you rate yourself for 2017 how would you rate how would you rate yourself just overall looking back 2017 how would what kind of a score would you give yourself um I'm going to give myself a 5.5. Okay, I, I think I had a pretty good. It, it was a pretty good year, quite frankly. It was a pretty good year, uh, uh, and and especially because of the, the uh, publication of my of my my latest book, right? You know, right here, right here, my latest book, and uh, which you guys all know about, and certainly you should all have. Um, by the way, we are up to 48 five star reviews on Amazon. I am so. Uh, blown away by that it's 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 amazing so um, uh, so I would rate myself at, at, at a 5.5 sure that gives me a lot of room for improvement a lot of room for growth uh, in 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 the future and then question number six follows right up on it is how would others rate you for this year uh, uh, on a scale of one to seven and, and I'm saying seven being highest right on a scale of one to seven, how would others rate you? And I would say that others would rate me lower than I would rate myself. Uh, um, I would say that at best, I would get probably a 5.0. And part of that is because uh, is 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 because I am a. Um, uh, it leads into the last question, uh, but I have learned, I've learned more and more about myself as being uh, uh, an introvert. Uh, uh, yeah, it's true. Those of you that don't believe it, but it, it's true. Uh, being an introvert, uh, getting older, getting a little bit crankier, um, you know, and uh, uh, you know, maybe being a little bit, uh, um, uh, you know, um, stubborn and stuff. And I would, I think that that's probably going to cut my score down down a little bit. And uh, and I would say people would agree with me. And and there might even be people here who would say, no, your score should be way lower, Steve. <laughs> So, oh well. Um, and then finally, question number seven. Uh, um, oh no, I'm sorry. That was question number five. Question number question number six is, what was your biggest accomplishment 
for this year? What was your biggest accomplishment for this year? And of course, for me, it's easy because it was my book. Once again, I, gee, I get to mention it twice here in this program, in this thing. So uh, it was getting my book out. That was my biggest accomplishment was writing that book that I wanted to write for several years now, finally getting it out. And, and of course, the uh, uh, response and the reaction to the book, I've, it's just so gratifying. And, and, and companies are buying, buying it by the box loads, giving it to their employees. It's not just not not just being used for sales and marketing, but it's being used in companies uh, all across for everybody in their company. And so it's gone beyond what I thought it really was supposed to be, and I'm extremely gratified by it. So that's my my biggest accomplishment. What is your biggest accomplishment for this year? And question number seven: What did you learn about yourself? What did you learn? about yourself this year that you didn't know. It doesn't matter how old you are, okay? I am older than most of you, okay? And, uh, you know, and just, you know, just let's just put it this way, okay? I, li I, I was there in the 60s, okay? Let's just say I was, you know, in college in the 60s. So, so you know, that makes, that makes me old. But what did I learn? Well, I actually, you know, what I, what I was just referring to earlier is this idea that, that, you know, maybe I'm a little bit more stubborn. But, 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 but the point, but, but really what I learned about myself is that I'm much more of a misfit than I always realized, that I actually realized over the years. I always sort of thought of myself as a misfit. But now I think that they're actually, I, I actually think that I've got some, you know, some misfiring going on up here. I shouldn't say misfiring. They just fired differently than other people. So uh, I see the world differently and and it's not really so much a, a question of choice as much as it is that, that I that's just the way I am. Okay. So you see, I've learned that about myself this year and it's going to help me to be a better person uh, in, next year. So, you know, how many books did you read? Read more. How many books did you read? All right. What was your uh, 1A? You know, you might say, well, that's eight questions. Well, okay. But, but question 1A is, what was the best book that you read this year? And by the way, please share that with us in the comments below. Please share what was the best book that you ever, that you read this year, um, because I will be very interested and uh, you will probably you, you may, in fact, impact my reading list uh, coming up here too. Um, you know, number two, what was your, what, who was your best connection? Who had the biggest impact on you? Number three, what did you do that took you out of your comfort zone this year? Uh, number four, how would you rate yourself on a scale of one to seven? Seven being highest. How do you think others would rate you on a scale of one to seven? Uh, uh, is number five. Number six is what was your biggest accomplishment this year? And then number seven uh, is what did you learn about yourself? So a little bit different type of personal self-assessment, uh, but uh, um, but I think that if you answer those questions, you're gonna you're gonna have a pretty good idea of how your year went. So anyway, this is Steve Miller, better known as Kelly's dad and marketing gunslinger. Thanks for joining me again this week. I'll be back next week with a business self-assessment business assessment for, for this year questions to ask ask yourself about your business and how uh how this year has been and how to look at it with a few different types of questions that you might might normally have either hope to see you again next week on my uncopyable business video thanks again for joining me and always remember be uncopyable see ya